full uh, eight rounds, so the experience is great. Uh, I was a little bit too heavy, I guess. I should have been sitting down one more punches more. And uh, that's what camp is for, you know. Uh, every fight is a different lesson, and uh, I'm gonna keep training hard and uh, look, look to, improve, to improve the next fight. What weight were you coming in for this fight? It was 260, which is 10 pounds heavier than last fight, and that won't happen again. So where, you said you're not gonna, you're gonna do something different. What, what do you plan to do different going forward? You plan to work with more of a strength conditioning coach? I did. Uh, just a couple of injuries I had during the camp. Uh, but it's what it is, man. No excuses. Uh, I got the W, so that's all that matters. We saw a little bit of a, of a fan base is developing here. You have it. How much does that help you going forward? Only, but you had you're starting to build a fan base that will travel. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I had uh, a lot of people come to this fight, my family and friends. So that's a real uh, a motivator. You hear them cheering me on, and uh, that's the best part. When do you plan to fight again? It's December 5th. Uh, it's on Al uh, Heyman. Um, I thank him for giving me this opportunity, and uh, I hope to uh, keep uh, doing good, and uh, hopefully keep giving me the chances to prove myself. You said you were getting, suffering. Some Injuries. What kind of injuries to happen in camp? Just little uh, minor injuries? Yeah, or? yeah, just minor stuff. I like, jammed my wrist and, uh, and that's it. And I knew a little knee pain, but I mean, it is what it is. Takes to the sixth round. You start busting up a lot more. You start catching with the uppercuts. Uh, seventh and eighth rounds, sometimes you're taking some time off. Was that because of the weight? Was that because of the injuries? Or just, yeah, he was very durable. Yeah, just he's durable, man. I didn't want to push myself out because he would come back stronger with two or three shots, hard shots. And I didn't want to push myself out and then let him catch up, catch up on. First round, you seem to be very you just flummoxed a bit and you came out started throwing a lot of shots a lot of guys don't do that with you were you were you thrown off by his aggression coming out of him? Well, I saw his uh, someone's tape so I knew that was, that was gonna happen but um yeah I mean it was a little different because none, none of the heavyweights throw like that so I bet you uh, the fans were happy pleased about that that uh, they saw two big guys throw, throw hands like that you know last question for me here we know about the big Polish fan base we know Spilka is with, your whole, with the whole Heyman team we know but he trains out in Houston is that a thought of going forward and maybe going down to Houston, Ronnie Shields, get more hot weather, get more of a, a bigger gym where you guys can work out and have more strength conditioning, more dietary help. Uh, I have a great team. I mean, I take all the, the blame on myself. Key Trimble and Darius uh, Stankiewicz are great trainers. It's just me that uh, got to uh, do, do the, you know, uh, diet correctly. Because uh, I was in shape for eight rounds. I mean, I threw punches throughout the whole eight rounds. I mean, I just to sit on them. And I think I would have uh, took, took them out. Tell us about that. What do you mean by sitting down to punches? What made you not sit on the punches? Yeah, I was very tall. Uh, I was thinking about so I also didn't know when I was going to go fight. So I was wrapped up for uh, since 8 o'clock with my gloves. And I thought the uh, fight with uh, Gabriel was going to go the full full distance because they have not a lot of knockouts. It was a shock, a knockout in the first round. So that shocked me up, and I had to warm up real fast. And, uh, Maybe that was one of the reasons. If this happens again, let's say you land on the December 5th card at Showtime in Brooklyn, and they say you're going to be a swing bout again, what would you do differently? Uh, I mean, it's not, just be ready more. You know, stay warm throughout the whole, whole, whole time. And uh, definitely will, will be in much better shape. So I just hope I get the opportunity to show my, showcase my skills. There you have Once again, it's Adam Milwaukee, a.k.a. the Babyface Badass, only here on LastCallRadioShow.com.